there's a huge range of experience and ability in the sector and, and knowledge and skills and imagination of what they can do. We're looking to make a, make a film for our Inspire Young People's project. So we made um, some good contacts on today, which I didn't I didn't expect to really. I was just coming to see what it was all about. Voluntary arts uh, as a sector um, is comprised of a huge number of people. We're talking about you know, right over nine million. It's essential really, art's really good for people, it helps develop their mind, there's a muscle in here that's all about creativity and also it's important and that's, that's what's used. Open my eyes to some new opportunities for collaboration and certainly some opportunities to promote the things that we do. Artists in general, yeah, they tend to be quite ideas heavy people, um, but that's good because we've got the capacity and the, the strength to harness those and work with them. It's, it's never a question with us of doing it for people, it's always a question of enabling them to do it themselves. People involved in community media tend to be very passionate about what they do. They tend to have a very positive can-do attitude because they're used to working with the community. We have got uh, a lot of equipment that we're just setting up and we're going to be able to make uh, programs at home, in a studio at home, but we don't have a station to broadcast so we're looking to form partnerships with people with with whom we can eventually broadcast. Do you think there's a bigger demand now for community radio? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's been evidence, evidence every day. The government first thought there'd be about 50 stations altogether by the end of the whole licensing process. There's already more than 200. They started a new round uh, last month and the expressions, there were 200 expressions of interest for that third round of licensing. And it is what I said earlier, that people are going, we like what they're doing in Preston, we want to do it here. Loads of examples here in Preston about how we work with drama groups, how we're working with local arts groups to do different uh, pr projects. We have a, a weekly arts programme that goes on air. We also do work with local musicians, playwrights, poets, visual artists, all sorts of people. And it really needs to be driven by the community that you're working in. And 